Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today I'm doing seafood, which I have mussels and shrimp, and I got corn and potatoes. That's what I have. That's what I have. I just got all kind of goodness on here from this butter. So I got garlic and what else? Um, what's that stuff, y'all? Ginger. <laughs> ginger, ginger. And I'm drinking water. I am going to bless my food. Then I'm going to give you, uh, then I'm going to eat a little bit. Then I'm going to give you scripture. And then I'm going to talk about my topic, which is Jesus is Lord. Huh? So, Father God, I thank you now for this food. Let it be nourished to my body. Bless it in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I am hungry. I am hungry. What y'all been up to? I know. It's been a minute. I've been working. Like crazy. And... I went out of town. Let me put this right. Let me put this over here. I went out of town for um, my husband's birthday. He's a big fan of um, Nick Cannon's show, Wild and Out. So. I took him to see that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And we just had a good time. I'm going to eat it on. I put the whole tail in my mouth. Mm. It was fun, relaxing, you know, just to get away for a while. I got some lemons, too. So, yeah, I've had a really good time. A really, really good time. Mm. So, that's what I've been up to. What y'all been up to? Let me know. <clears throat> Let me know what y'all been doing. Scripture of the day. Verse of the day. <clears throat> Matthew 5, and five, chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's ginger. Mm. Mm, mm. There's ginger. If you see my eye, I'm doing a little thing, like a little lazy or whatever. And you have not subscribed to my channel, it's because I have Bell Palsy. And Bell Palsy comes and goes. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, that's the reason. But I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Oh, 
for God is so good. How many of you know that God is so good? Mmm. There's smoke around there. All that goodness. Mmm. All that goodness. One thing I know for sure. That Jesus is Lord and Jesus is King. I don't know a lot. But what I do know. That Jesus is Lord. And I've known. I've known that for over 30 plus years. I got I got saved when I was 11 years old. And how many of y'all remember, I don't know what it was called, the, I think it was called the mourner's bench. But old people used to say the morning bench. I think it was called the mourner's. But I think that's what it was supposed to be. But how many of y'all remember that? I was 11 when I got on the morning, morning bench. And I got on there with my friends. And when the pastor started preaching and he was like, if you believe in God, um, just come up here and grab my hand and say you believe in God. So, my friends went, so I went. Mm. And so, you need everybody mind, we got saved that night. But I went home and I was like, yeah, I didn't really feel anything. And I was like, you ain't supposed to feel nothing. You weren't supposed to feel now. You're just supposed to know. Mm-mm. I was like, no, I want to feel God. So, me not, not listen to my friends, I went back on the morning's man. And I sat there. And I would never 
never forget. It was um, a man on there. He was on there. He was on there when, when all me and my friends got off at first. He was on there. But we left him on there. When I went back, he was on there. Um, and if you didn't want to get off, the thing was, you didn't have to. Cause he had been on there for almost 20 years. And I sat there and I sat down. And I felt God. For real. It was just like something that came over me. I can sit still. I wasn't trying to cry. But it was like tears was actually being knocked out of my eyes. Mm. I knew he was he had saved me. I knew he had came into my heart. And I knew that it was more that was required of me. Even at that age, I knew. And when I got off that time, I was for real knew that Jesus was Lord. The old man that I left on the morning's bench, his name was Scott. I would never forget his name was Scott. And he was going, he was going, I almost, it seemed like he was going to get off when I got off. Because when I began to walk, it's like he took a step. And the lady in the audience, she was like, streamed out. Scott, you need to get off this morning bench. You've been on this morning bench for somebody. Get I mean, it was like, and he stepped back. True story. I will never forget that. I will never. Never. That's when I knew that I wasn't alone. Not in the physical. I mean, I just knew I wasn't alone in this big old world. Of course, you had your parents. And your family. But it was something greater hmm, fighting for me. And after, um, after me giving my life to God and being baptized and confessing that Jesus is Lord, I went through so many ups and downs of God revealing himself to me. As they say, so many tests and trials. 
that he would take he would take me through being molested. Going through um hardship and struggle. Teen pregnancy. Abusive relationship, cervical cancer, divorce. I mean, so much I can share that God had revealed himself to me time and time again. I know he's God. I know he's Lord. And people say, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Mm -mm. I wouldn't take nothing for it. He had revealed who he is to me. And I'm convinced. Hey, you, ma'am. Hey, you, sir. You can believe what you want. But on the solid rock, I stand. All powerful. Just you getting up. It was enough to assure you that Jesus is Lord. My husband said something. My husband. If we had to think to breathe, we'll all be dead. We'll all be dead. So much he he's doing for. So much he's doing for us. That we take for granted. <clears throat> mm. It's going good. Fresh corn. I dropped my, my napkin. last couple of years <laughs> he he have shown himself just mighty bringing my husband and I back together after 15 years who wouldn't who wouldn't serve a God like that Who will? <clears throat> when he revealed himself to you like that, 
that doesn't acknowledge him. Got to. Nothing for my journey now. Mm. Whatever you do, remember. That Jesus is Lord. I know. At this day and time, everybody got their own way of thinking. And there's so much going on. Everybody want to be free. <laughs> mm -mm. Express yourself. Mm hmm. Express yourself. Okay, yeah, go. <clears throat> okay, yeah. I'm full. I'm full now. Thank you so much for eating with me. I hope you enjoyed the time that we shared together. Whatever you do, love God, love people, serve God, serve people. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.